What is going on, guys? It's Brian Sim Men's Comics back again to give you my picks for comic books that are hitting Final World Cut Off this coming Monday night, April 26th. Do apologize. I missed last week. Had a family medical emergency come up, so I had to make the drive down to Tampa, Florida and back. But everything is good now, and we're going to get right into the picks this week, starting with Image Comics. Been talking about these for the past few issues, but Walking Dead Deluxe. Issue number 15 is hit and final order cutoff. Talked about these before. I love those Dave Raposa variants for this, those connecting variants all the way up to issue 18 coming up. I keep collecting those. Those covers are gorgeous. There's some other great covers as well. Those Tedesco variants have been great. But just fans of the series in general, getting Walking Dead in full color. And we're also getting those additional printings. Love those as well. But either way, Walking Dead. It's hitting final cutoff, definitely picking that up. For Marvel, we're also getting Shang-Chi number one. Yes, we just got that gorgeous teaser trailer for that Shang-Chi movie. So, of course, Marvel hits you back to back. We get Shang-Chi number one. There is no shortage of covers for this issue. This is one of those books. Pick it up to read it. If you find a cover that you like, pick up those covers. Or if you're absolutely a killer fan, you can go Pokemon style and try to collect them all. But there's a lot of covers for it. There's also some great incentives for this. But Shang-Chi, I'm picking this up mostly just to read it. But there are a few covers in here that I do like the yard on. So I might try to pick those up as well. Also for Marvel, we're getting that Marvel Heroes Reborn issue number three. This has also been expanding out into multiple tie-ins. I'm sticking to the main storyline started reading that. I've been enjoying it. I've heard mixed opinions online and on social media. Let me know in the comments. Are you reading Heroes Reborn? What do you think about it? Of course, the one cover I like, other than the cover A, is that Peach Momoko Stormbreakers variant. Some other great covers as well, so make sure you pay attention to those covers. Find the one you like and get your order in before Final Order Cutoff. Although, other than specific covers that might be popular, I don't see Marvel having a small enough print run that you won't be able to find this book on release day if you're just interested in reading it. But if you do like a specific cover, it's best to get your pre-order in. And like I always say on here, pre-orders to get you discounts. Get over to DC Comics. Now remember, DC Comics usually hit final cutoff a little bit earlier than your normal diamond since they're distributed through a different distribution company. Usually sometimes it's the day before but either way, we are getting Wonder Girl number one. That's right, Yara Flora. Future State, that those Future State Wonder Woman issues with Yara Flora were super popular. Here we are getting her standalone series. This has got some great covers for it as well. You have a couple incentives. There's also a great J. Scott Campbell. If you're a fan of J. Scott Campbell, there is a 1 in 25 incentive variant for this. I like the covering, Joel Jones. I also like that blank variant, that bluish blank variant color. And I like that J. Scott Campbell. J. Scott Campbell thrives in some of those female characters. They do, a lot of people do have a point where a lot of those female characters kind of look alike, but I just like all of them. And like I said, no doubt, Yara Flora, great character. A lot of people are taking notice and here she is getting her standalone series. Also from DC Comics, we get Nightwing number 80. I've been loving this series ever since Tom Taylor took over. Been saying it on this channel time and time again. Tom Taylor is, I won't even say the future of comic book writing. He's been writing a bunch of great series, but I will also say I think he is starting to get the attention he deserves. He is also going to be taking on that new DC Superman series, Son of Kal-El, where we're going to concentrate on John Kent. That's coming up. But if you're not reading Nightwing right now, definitely recommend you pick it up. Tom Taylor, fantastic mentioned it before. He's written Suicide Squad. He's written Injustice. He's written Deceased. He's also writing Seven Secrets for Boom Studios. If you like comic books for reading and great writing, Nightwing is one you should be picking up right now. Which that's going to bring us over into the Indie Showcase portion of this video. Once again, Indie Showcase brought to you by Black Cape Comics. BlackCapeComics.com. You can pre-order all the comic books I discuss in this video as well as the Indie Showcase portion. I love Black Cape Comics. They're a huge fan of Indie Comics. They have some great store exclusives as well. So make sure you check out BlackCapeComics.com. But the first one we're talking about in the Indie Showcase is from Image Comics. Been talking about this one since its issue one release, and I still can't get enough of it. We are talking about Stray Dogs 
number four. This is the penultimate issue. That's right, it's a five issue series. But don't sit there and go, oh, it's a five issue mini series. It's not worth picking up. I love this story. I haven't met too many people that have read it that have thought otherwise. So definitely, definitely recommend picking this up. It's a fantastic read. Stray Dogs, number four, hitting FFC this coming Monday night. Also from Image Comics, but from Skybound, we get that Ultra Mega number three. That's hitting FOC. Another series that's gotten great, great reader reviews if you're a fan of kaiju type stories, especially coming off of Kong vs. Godzilla. And people are talking about wanting a Pacific Rim or kaiju crossover with Kong and Godzilla. This James Heron story has been phenomenal. Definitely recommend you guys pick this up. And each one's been selling so well. Issue one, issue two is hitting additional printings. And make sure if you pick up those additional printings, you guys are picking up those incentive additional printings. I have heard the print run on those are relatively scarce. So pay attention to those. We also had that Comic Spot Live exclusive variant from Attack Peter. That's another great one to be looking on the lookout for. But either way, Ultra Mega number three, another great series. Skybound Image Comics has been putting out some definite bangers. Usually high on Boom Studios. Boom Studios is still great as well. Bunch of great series. But we got a lot of great books coming from Image. And Ultra Mega is one to pay attention to. And another indie comic to be on the lookout for, Behemoth Comics just released You Promised Me Darkness number one. It's gotten a lot of attention from readers. Of course, it's got a lot of attention from speculators. But issue number two actually hit FOC last week. Like I said, I wasn't here to talk about FOC. But this is one you can order. And you can also order from Behemoth Comics website. They have a bunch of great covers up there. So if you can't get your order in at your LCS, can't get your order in online, has hit FOC. They're not adding any new orders. Check out Behemoth Comics' website, and I'll put a link to their site up on the screen right now for you. So we've talked about my picks as well as my indie showcase picks, but like I always talk about at the end of this video is those additional printings. We actually have quite a few additional printings hitting FOC this week. We're getting Geiger number one hitting a third print. We're getting Radiant Black number one hitting a third print, as well as Radiant Black number two with the third print, but there's also gonna be a one in 10 incentive black and white variant for that Radiant Black number two third print. And Radiant Black number three is getting a second print. From Marvel, that Silk number one is getting a second print. Also from Marvel, we're getting Star Wars High Republic number one getting a fifth print. High Republic number two getting a fourth print. High Republic number three getting a third print. And then over to Boom, Berserker number two is getting a second print. As well as Firefly brand new verse number one is getting a second print. And then Magic the Gathering number one is getting a third print. From DC Comics, Joker number two is getting a second print. It also will have an incentive 1 in 25 variant for the second print. And as mentioned earlier in this video, You Promised Me Darkness number one from Behemoth Comics is getting a second print as well. So there it is, guys. Those are my picks for comics that are hitting Final Art Cutoff this coming Monday night, earlier if you're DC Comics. So make sure... You get your orders in online. You go into your LCS, let them know what you want in your pull box. And like I said, get you that discount at the same time. With that being said, this is Brown Superman's Comics. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hella shameless, necklace on me decorated. All this got me feeling jaded. Hold up, hold up, I'll be waiting. Bad thing on my radar. Told me that I'm in a playlist. Flower bomb, she a lotus. Got me thinking that I'm famous. I remember when I prayed for this. No sleep, cause I'm anxious.